वेलकम टू द क्विक लर्निंग हब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस काफका फिल्टर लिसनर व्हाई डू वी नीड काफका फिल्टर लिसनर एट ऑल द काफका फिल्टर लिसनर कम्स इनटू अ पिक्चर व्हेन वी वांट आवर कंज्यूमर टू कंज्यूम ओनली सिलेक्टेड मैसेजेस फ्रॉम अ टॉपिक एंड नॉट ऑल द मैसेजेस सो लेट्स सी विद अ डायग्राम वी हैव अ प्रोड्यूसर लेट्स से व्हिच प्रोड्यूसेस थ्री इवेंट new cancel and free advice to a topic and now we have a two consumer we want our first consumer to consume only new event and free advice event but not the cancel event similarly for consumer 2 we want it to consume only cancel and free advice event but not new events so how can we achieve this in spring kafka world so to achieve this instead of using all the default configurations specifically for container factory we are going to provide our own container factory what i want to mention is that we have a default kafka broker running on default port 9092 so let's finally go to the deep dive via code now instead of typing all the code right now in this video which will be little time consuming i already have this code i'll walk you through the code and give you a demo so here what we have is a controller which is actually doing nothing just taking a, a request of type my detail which only have two fields event type and message event type is nothing but in enum that's the same which we were showing in the diagram it's new pre advice and cancel event It, these are the events usually in in banking or trading let's say so here this will do nothing it will just take the request simple rest endpoint and we have kafka publisher class which is actually going to publish the message to the topic and to which topic we have all this configuration in the application properties file we'll go through the properties let's say now what kafka publisher is doing kafka publisher is taking the dto creating a producer record that's uh, generally how we do it the interesting part from filtered listener perspective is we are also creating the header for the producer record so we are taking the event type from my dto and we are putting it in the header that is the difference from the actual publishing and it's like the simple kafka template we are using from spring kafka and just uh, like just publishing the message and what is the difference at the listener side so in kafka listener instead of having the default container factory usually if we have default container factory we don't have to specify and spring boot or spring kafka will actually provide you default container factory so the difference is here we are providing the container factory so what is this container factory this is we are creating in kafka config so the container factory is taking all the properties that we are defining as a separate properties class so not to mix everything in one class and make it cumbersome so kafka properties are just simple basic kafka properties what bootstrap server address so the server address and the consumer group id serialization deserialization keys and adding the dtos to the trusted package because the serialization deserialization will not have any issues now going back to the listener configuration so listener has this filtered factory and as we were seeing this filtered factory is having a filter strategy so this filter strategy is what we have created so this record header filter strategy class is actually inheriting from record filter strategy where actually we are overriding the filter method now you remember 
as while publishing the message we were setting the header in the producer record so similarly in the filter as the name suggests for this class record header filter strategy we, we can filter record based on different kind of things so now what we are doing is we are taking the consumer record we are trying to see if the consumer record has the header if it has headers let's say does any header is event type if any headers out of those headers if any header is event type does this value of this header matches the filter criteria that we are specifying in our properties file so let's quickly visit the properties file now why we have two properties file because i am going to start two different consumers from the same application on different ports rather than creating two separate application so let's say first we go through the consumer where we are going to consume only new m and priya the consumer one from our diagram that is only going to consume new m and priya event as we don't specify cancel here it's not going to consume cancel and this property file has server port 8080 so this particular application we are going to start at 8080 and the default bootstrap server configuration that's nothing fancy so the topic is it's the same topic for publisher and consumer we have specified the kafka topic name because we are uh, specifying the kafka topic at both the places in producer and consumer similarly the serialization string serializer and uh, value serializer is json serializer similarly deserializers and here we have specified the group id as kafka filter new m because we want these two this particular consumer to be part of a different consumer group similarly the all the properties will be same in this other property file except that we are starting it at a different port and we have a different consumer group id and here we are using the filter logic or the event type as cancel and pre-advice now let's see it in action so first we are going to start the application with this property file what different here is to start this application what we have in the configuration we are specifying the profile so we are activating the profile as new m and which is actually using this particular property file now here this particular application is starting at port 8080 and the consumer config values what we have specified the default bootstrap server which is fine server is started and kafka filter is kafka filter listener is running similarly we are going to run another instance of the same application on a different port with a different property file so here we go and start the same application second instance on a different port but as you know that both the application will have to rest endpoint we are going to use maybe any of it so I have the REST endpoint available already on port 8080 which is actually just going to use this particular instance to publish the message while the, both the consumer are uh, listening to the same topic. So let's see. So this is nothing but a simple uh, post call to the endpoint publish that we were seeing. This is localhost 8080. Now once we publish the new M event, what will happen? Let's see so we have our new m event published and let's see in the new m instance first so message sent by a by kafka publisher and then the kafka filter listener class is the message consumed on the topic so message is successfully consumed in the new m so where this particular log is coming from because we have everything in our record filter strategy here we define new m here it will come as new m and what will happen is it will just return false so basically this particular filter strategy is not going to filter this record and once this particular strategy returns false this record will be actually 
consumed here and then this particular line will be printed in the log so this is the log which we are seeing message consumed on the topic now what is happening in the other instance of the application where we have specified that only listen to cancel and priya now let's see here what we see is kafka filtered strategy is saying message filtered on topic and the offset is same so the interesting part is it's listening to the same record consuming the same record and it's skipping that particular message and here it's actually consumed the same message and the offset is now being increased to 40 similarly what we are going to do or what we are going to try now is let's say instead of new m we are going to publish the cancel event so as you expected it is going to do the exact opposite this particular cancel instance which is actually going to consume this particular cancel record while the first one the first consumer is actually going to skip this particular record now what we want is we know that this particular another event prayer is actually in both the consumers both the consumers should consume this particular event let's say if we have a prayer event what will happen let me first clear the logs so that it will make more sense because i'm saying it's getting cumbersome so now let's say we publish a prayer event here we see message consumed on topic with the same offset and the other consumer also as here we you see additional logs because for the obvious reason that we are using this particular endpoint 8080 to publish the message and then this instance has also consumed the message so this is very simple to achieve so why we are going for kafka filter listener or actually when we are going for kafka filter listener when let's say we don't have the privilege to publish the message based on the event type segregation to different partitions let's say if we are the one who is actually designing and publishing the messages we can separate it on the partition key level kafka topic partitions rather than going for kafka filter but let's say if there is the third party applications or already existing applications who are actually producing all the records to uh, uh, same topic then we are probably going to need the kafka filter listening so i will provide this particular link of the git repo for this one so that you can refer to the this particular code and you can play around with the same code i hope this actually helps you and thanks for watching this video see you next time thanks have a nice day